Hey kitties! So today I am going to be doing a makeup chit chat. Get ready with me. I've seen these on YouTube and I've never done one before. So I think this is my first one ever. And I'm going to try to not edit this video because it's kind of the point of the video is to be kind of just natural. And it's like you guys are just hanging out with me while I get ready and put on my makeup. I've already done my hair and my outfit. I'm wearing my Hey Cutie shirt. Whoa, whoa, that was a boob shot. The Hey Cutie shirt right there that Leah got me in my peel box. Um, bow in my hair from my peel box as well. Earrings are from my peel box as well. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna set up my mirror right here and then I'm gonna get ready and you guys can just hang out with me. I literally have like a list of topics in case I have no idea what to talk about. So I'm just gonna get started. So I'm going to do my eyes first. Uh, this is my favorite primer. Uh, this is the Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC. So if I screw up in anything that I'm saying, it's just gonna stay in and not get edited out. So hopefully I don't say anything that's rude. <laughs> okay, so if you guys like these videos, you can stick around. Um, it's kind of like my first time doing it. So just like a trial run, if you guys like it, then I will do it more because you guys, I get ready, you know, not every day, but when I get ready to film, there's no, you know, bad thing in me just turning on the camera and filming but if you guys don't like these types of videos if you think it's annoying then obviously I won't do it anymore but I have lots of veins in my eyelids um like noticeable ones I should say and this covers most of them up just as this so I really like that I used to um well I didn't I used to put on my foundation first then my eye makeup sometimes I do that sometimes I don't um, I like to do my eyes first especially if I'm doing a dark look people have asked me that before I like to do uh, my eyes first because then if you're doing really black and it falls out and you've already done your foundation and your foundation is perfect you kind of have to wipe it away and it could smear and smudge so that's why I do my eyes first most of the time um, if I'm doing kind of like a neutrally look, then maybe I'll do my foundation first. I kind of like the foundation first though, because then I can cover up the veins in my eyes better, if that makes any sense. Okay, so let's see the topics I have. Last night. Last night. That's all I put it. Oh, hey, anyways, last night. <laughs> last night, uh, we went to our friend's house, and it was actually good. There's been some like severe drama with Dalton's friends and such. Um, I'm not going to get into that, but you know, the, people made some major changes and there were certain people who were drama people, which, you know, happens in every friend situation. There's like that one person or the few people that just cause drama. So just, you know, figure out what the problem is and eliminate it. That's just, that's what it is. Like if somebody's being an asshole to you, then you just figure out who that person is and why they're doing it and eliminate that person or the situation from your life. You don't need drama in your life. I'm using this palette that Nina so kindly bought for me and I'm going to use, oh, and I haven't even wrote the names on the back. You guys suggested to me that I get like, um, kind of like little stickers on the back and then write each product. I so need to do that. I just haven't got around to it. Um, <laughs> So uh, the only thing I'm going to edit is what eyeshadow I put in here because it'll take a long time for me to get this out. But I'm going to put on this one right here. I think I like that one. I don't know what it's called, but I like it. Okay. What was I talking about? Rude asses. <laughs> rude asses. Basically rude people. I actually love that color. Look at it. Because I want something just subtle. Um, we're just going to hang out today. I think that was the next thing on my list. We're just going to go hang out. Chill day. Um, it's super windy here today. Like it's gusting at 58 kilometers an hour. That is so windy. Oh, I just put my eyeshadow brush in a different color. Oh well. This is a really pretty neutrally kind of shimmery color. I love that. So yeah, we um, are going to go to Taste of Saskatchewan is what it's called. And it's in my city. I don't know if it actually goes all over Saskatchewan. Hmm. But it's in my city and you can basically just try different cultures, foods. Like there's things like all over the world. There's like Greek food and then Asian food. There's so many to French food and you can just try all these different cuisines and it's so yummy and I love going every year because you guys know that I love trying different things obviously. But I think I'm gonna do like a taste test Tuesday there. I feel like that would be really cool. Okay, so then I'm gonna use this color right here and I'm just gonna go on the inner corner just a bit. I'm gonna not do like rank makeup today. I just lays in it and going whatever. 
I do a little bit of crease color though. So I'm gonna grab my MAC brush. My favorite brush of all time, legit, it's the MAC 217. Like this, it's fading, so I need a new one because mine's like not really in good shape anymore. But um, my favorite crease color ever is from this Makeup Forever palette, the Artist palette, and these two shades right here mixed together. Like that's all I do is like pat, 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 pat. And then that's like my favorite go-to crease. I feel like it's just perfect. But anyways, Taste of Saskatchewan, like legit. If you're not gonna care about this video, fast forward to here. How would you know unless you watched up to here? This is insane. So Taste of Saskatchewan, it's, you know, always really yummy and cool and trying different foods and, you know, everything about that and seeing new people and just the environment. However, Dalton and I were at Jeff and Michelle's house um, a few days ago and Taste of Saskatchewan got brought up I think because me and Dalton said we were gonna go and Michelle said oh are you gonna try the guinea pig I'm like what the guinea pig apparently she heard on the radio that they're like deep frying whole guinea pigs and serving them and I was like wait what because okay now I know there's some vegetarians and vegans out there who's gonna be like you eat cow so what's the difference However, guinea pigs you can go buy at a pet store. I don't feel like that's right at all. Like, you, if you can buy it and keep it as a pet at a pet store, I feel like that should be illegal. I don't know. I feel like that is illegal, though. Like, guinea pigs? Okay, I thought it would be, like, the leg of the guinea pig or something like that, but it's a full guinea pig deep fried. And you can, like, see the face. You can see, like, the nose still. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. But, um, <clears throat> she never saw them. So she wasn't, you know, 100% sure. And yesterday, last night, we went to go hang out with our, you know, normal friends now, <laughs> not the asshole friends. They, uh, one of the guys there said that he was at Taste of Saskatchewan that day or the day prior and he never saw anything like that. So I don't know if that's true or not. We're going today. So if you guys want to follow us on the vlog channel, wow, I did my makeup like real high up here and not so high. Cool. That's my life. This is my life. I don't even really care. Whatever. I'll just blend it. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to use... Do I take this color? Right here. To blend. I just choose at random. Sometimes it looks good. Sometimes it looks like shit. And I'm like, awesome. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, the guinea pig. I don't really know. And my mom, when I was telling her, she's like, are they dead first? I'm like, well, I have no idea. I would pretty much assume they would be. Um, but I don't know, I just have never seen anything like that in our city, and especially at Taste of Saskatchewan. Like, what? How is that anything to do with our <clears throat> province? But it's, you know, trying foods from all over the world, I get that. But, you know, I kind of want a lighter shade to just go over top of the lid. I'm feeling like that. So I think I'm just going to use this one up here again. Just to go a little bit on the lid, just to brighten it up. Yeah, ooh, I like that way better. Okay. So, Taste of Saskatchewan. Awesome. So that's where we're going today. Oh, yeah, did I say Taste Test Tuesday? I kind of want to do like a vlog style Taste Test Tuesday at the Taste of Saskatchewan. And no, I will not try the guinea pig. Nope. No, thank you. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Um, next thing on my list, guinea pig. <laughs> I already discussed that. Netflix. Yeah, people ask me all the time like what my current favorite shows on Netflix are, what I like to watch on Netflix. I am done out of shadow. I'm just going to pick a color for, yeah, that purple for the bottom. But I don't do the bottom until a bit later. So, yes, that's done. Ah. <laughs> um, Netflix, the shows that I've been watching lately, Prison Break. We started Prison Break and it's amazing. I love Prison Break. Um, one of my top favorite shows, definitely. Um, I'm going to do some eyeliner now. I keep saying uh and um. That's my real life. And I usually edit those out, my uh and ums. So, Sorry if that's annoying. That's just me. I can't change myself. I'll try to, you know, realize it, but <laughs> I use the Kat Von D tattoo liner in, or ink liner, sorry, in Trooper. Love this stuff. Hopefully it's not uh, dry though, because I haven't used it for a while. Bring my mirror closer. Okay. Ah, I actually like my eyeshadow. It's like real neutral. Look at that. Yes. Okay, so hopefully this doesn't screw up, because eyeliner, like, it's not good for me sometimes, and I don't like talking while doing it. But, anything for you guys. And I have a problem with, like, pulling my lids. You guys should not do that, because it can cause premature wrinkles. Okay, I need to be quiet for this part. 
Okay. 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 Hi. Oh my god, I got something in my eyes. See it? Awesome. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Go prison break. Um, also, I watched this movie called. What is it called? Widowmaker. Oh my god, that gave me such bad anxiety, but it's a really good movie. Legit. One of the best movies I've seen in a while. There. I just need to be quiet at that part because, yeah. Anyway, so The Widowmaker, it's about uh, heart attacks, basically. And it's a documentary. If you guys don't like documentaries, I love documentaries. I need to be quiet again. There. That's pretty, right? Kind of. Kind of, not really. Cute, yes, no. I could make it better, but whatever. I'm just gonna go do the other eye. Yeah, I'm glad that I worked out. Sometimes my liner, like I'll screw up, so I have to make it a little bit thicker, and then I'll screw up again, I have to make it a little bit thicker, and then it's like up to here, I'm like, hey girl. <laughs> Back in uh, my childhood, when I used to do eyeliner, like literally a ring around my eye. That's cute. Wow. Heart attacks, Jesus, so. That movie gave me such bad anxiety all day. I I don't know. I've never had that happen before where I've had anxiety about something all day long. Um, I didn't know if there was actually something wrong with me or if it was just anxiety. And then I realized that it, that it was the anxiety. And because you guys know that one of my biggest fears is having a heart attack. And this movie was basically about sudden heart attacks. And they're, that's like the leading cause of death in the world is heart attacks that have no symptoms so people just fall over and die so that's what gives me anxiety it's like cool there's no symptoms there's no warning signs you just fall over and die that's fun right not at all that's just not uh and it it's like any time the the some of the uh people on there died at like 42 and 35 like i'm 25 it's 10 years i have 10 years left to live you know like that's how i think of it and it's like there's there's lots you can do. You can change your diet, uh, exercise, reduce your blood pressure and stuff, is what I was learning about on this uh, movie and documentary from like actual doctors and such. Like heart attacks are preventable because it's the plaque in your, you know, it's the plaque basically. That's what, hold on. Ooh, girl, that side is way better than this side. Kind of. I'll just make this one a little bit. Wait, I'm gonna do a little bit. There. Hey, do you guys love it? Okay, that was the time when I had to be quiet a little bit. So, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit. Where's my lid for this? I legit lost my lid for my, uh... <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> okay. So, I... Lashes, mascara. This mascara right here, I feel like I keep going off topic and the camera's now blurry. How, how fun. Awesome, okay, I'm just gonna keep going because this video's already long and yeah. So I'm gonna curl my lashes. This is the Tarte Eyelash Curler. Love this curler. And then this is the mascara that I love. It's the Miss Manga K Cool. It's not in focus. There, hi. And it's the Miss Manga Rock. I switched to the Butterfly Mascara for, you know, about a month and now I'm back to this. And you guys asked me in a recent video what um, mascara I was using and it's Miss Manga Rock. Because I love it. And Chugsy and Cooper both sleeping right beside me. So, that's what always happens when I do it. And Dalton's upstairs sleeping because last night they were drinking. So he's like a little, you know, tired. And it's like 8 a.m. Like, I literally had five hours of sleep, and I, I like live on five hours of sleep. I don't like sleeping. I just don't. I like to be up and awake, kind of because of the Widow Waker movie and the heart attacks. Like, I just want to live as much as possible. Like, I don't want to sleep because then I'm not living. Like, I'm not spending it with my, you know, loved ones, friends, family. I always like to be, you know, working for you guys, even though I don't consider it work. But, you know, making videos, doing everything. I'm going to not make my lashes too dramatic. Okay, I say that every day. And then they're like, hi, I'm a spider. Ugh. You know what's funny? When I was a teen, I would always be like, 
come watch me get ready, like to my friends, like legit. Like if we were going out anywhere, it'd be like, come watch me or come just hang out or like watch me, but come hang out with me while I get ready. Like what? And like all I hung out with was guys. So I don't think they really care less about me putting on my eyeliner in a big circle around my eye. Like I said, I used to do, which is legit. I used to do that. But uh, yeah, it's just scary to think about the whole heart attack thing and not having any symptoms. I mean, some heart attack, you, you, we will have a symptom or symptoms, but the majority of heart attacks, there's no symptoms. So you just die. What? No thanks. No thanks at all. So, and it's not just like a, you know, once in a blue moon thing, like this happens, it's the leading cause of death. So yeah, it's just a, if you guys want to know more about it, it's called the Widowmaker and the screenshot or the title really drew me in first. That's what drew me in. And yeah, I watched it. It was a pretty good documentary. What else have I been watching? Oh, that movie Creep. It's just called Creep. It's a horror movie and I only got halfway through and I turned it off because I want to watch it with Dalton because it's weird. It's a weird movie. I wasn't quite sure what was going on, but I don't know. It was just so weird that I want to watch it all with Dalton. I don't know, it was, just, it was creepy to watch. And then Grease, I watched Grease with Dalton. Grease, like the old, old movie, like the classic. I love that movie. I know that movie like word for word. Grease was my favorite movie growing up. So yeah, those are the movies that I've been absolutely loving. Oh, mascara right there, how cute. And like TV shows, Prison Break. Well, Breaking Bad will always be my favorite TV show. Besides like Jersey Shore and The Simple Life. I love The Simple Life. I wish they would make more. But then they got in that big fight like Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie. And then they hated each other and then they liked each other. I don't know how they stand right now. I don't really keep up with them like I do with the Kardashians. Keeping up with that. Anyways, that was lame as hell. <laughs> I'm trying not to swear because I swear so much in my daily life. I don't even care. But, you know, when I swear on YouTube, Occasionally I'll put the swears in, but I don't like to be like, F, 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 I'm a sailor. Hi. Why are my lashes not working right there? Fun times. This is probably a boring video. I'm just like talking. And my lashes just not working. Oh well, screw it. There. That's how my lashes are going to look. Not that perf, but oh well. I need a Q-tip for right here. Maybe I could use this. A little tip, if you get mascara on your eyelid, don't go wiping it off right away. Um, give it a little bit to dry because then it'll just flake right off. If you go and try to wipe it off, it'll smear and smudge. Okay, so I'm going to do um, foundation and stuff right now. I'm using this still. This is the Ready Set Gorgeous foundation by CoverGirl, my beauty blender. I love this stuff. This stuff is amazing, and it's, oh, I just love it. It's such a good consistency, and it builds, so, yeah. Awesome. How are you guys today? What else is on my list? Cali. Yes, we're going to Cali, like, in a few days here. I have sideburns, so it's always hard for me to get, you know, the makeup right here. People tell me, like, you didn't blend your makeup. I'm like, it's my sideburns. I'm like, hi. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to Cali. On Wednesday, Wednesday, the 22nd is when we leave. And the 22nd is actually my mom's birthday, her actual birthday. Um, so I hope my mom doesn't see this video. Well, she probably would have turned it off by now because we're at 20 minutes recording. But she, uh, I'm surprising her. She doesn't know. But I am basically, well, I've already had it booked and everything. But I am getting her a mother-daughter pedicure because she's been saying that she really wants a pedicure and she wants some kind of like design on her nails or her toenails, sorry. And she's never, oh, I just sprayed foundation everywhere. Cause I'm trying to like <laughs> get it out because <laughs> I literally use this so much. It's almost done. So that'll be in an empties video coming up. Well, I don't have much products right now. So when the empties video comes, then it'll be in there. But yeah, I just thought I would do a little surprise for my mom. She doesn't even know. Um, so I'm going to pick her up at her work and be like, get in. Because they couldn't get her in after supper. So I think I'm just going to take her out for supper. 
as well after. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be really fun. I will definitely vlog it and vlog a reaction everything. But yes, I thought that was so cute to do like mother-daughter pedicures for her birthday as a birthday present and take her out for supper. And yeah, and then the next day we leave. I would love to do it actually on her birthday because her birthday's on the 22nd, but we leave at like 8 a.m. But we have to be at the airport at like 7 a.m. So just couldn't do it then, but the day before, I mean, that's okay because the actual day of her birthday, my dad will probably take her out and stuff. So I feel like it works out perfectly. Um, yeah, I was going to say Callie, talking about Callie. So, in a, a vlog, Dalton and I wanted some recommendations from you guys for sushi places. And some of you guys said some sushi places, but I kind of wanted to ask you guys on here what sushi places you would recommend in California, more, speci <laughs> more specifically Anaheim. Um, we will be in LA a little bit, but mainly we're going to be in Anaheim. So, because VidCon is actually in Anaheim. So that's where we'll be. I feel like I'm pale. Is it just me? I don't know. Is it just the camera? I think it's because I'm not wearing eyebrows yet. So that's why. I'm just gonna speed this along because I feel like this is gonna be such a long video. Alrighty. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Put away the foundation. Oh my gosh, I always forget something. I forgot primer. Oh well. No biggie, not doing anything crazy today. So I'm gonna do some concealer now. My under eyes that you guys taught me, cause I used to just go like this, and you guys taught me to bring it down. Into a triangle, like so. And I'm using the NARS concealer, this is the best. Legit the best. Okay. So I look like that now, cute. Um, so yeah, we're going to VidCon, I'm so excited to go. Like literally, I want. I can't wait for all like the workshops and to hear YouTubers speak like on the panel. I'm going to, you know, learn and to grow my channel and help you guys. So this is basically, like I'm not going there because I think I'm some like big famous YouTuber. I just want to say that and, you know, get that out there. That's the truth. I'm going there to learn and help my channel grow because that's essentially what VidCon is for, you know, YouTubers. If you're, you know, a fan of YouTube, then you can go there and like see all your favorite YouTubers, which I'm both. I'm a fan, but I'm also a creator of YouTube videos. So for me to learn about things, that's like really key for me because I make videos every day. So it's kind of hard to be like, real creative if so to speak you know what I mean because I basically like, every day it's not like I can plan out well I do some videos that I, I do plan out way ahead of time and do them but you guys know what I mean you know what I'm saying I'm put my beauty blender away okay um now that that's done I'm gonna put some powder on I'm actually almost done my makeup I just have to do so my face makeup and then eyebrows and I'm done but yes my powder my favorite powder of all time, the Makeup Forever. I have foundation on my arm. Literally, I'm so messy when I do my makeup. And you guys see that I'm not doing my makeup at my makeup counter. I have a problem. I do it in front of the TV so I can watch Netflix and The Widowmaker and Prison Break and all that. But, yeah. Ugh. But in Cali, I'm so excited to go. California is one of my favorite places. And in the summer, it's so nice there. So nice. We have something planned for like every day. So I'm very excited and just happy and looking forward to Cali and the whole trip. But, oh, I should take it a before and after picture for the screenshot. Oh, well, nothing we can do now. So I'm using my Pink Sprinkles br blush from Simpsons Collection. Love this blush. Yes, what time is it even? Let's see. 10. 10 a.m. I thought it was 8. Well, I woke up at 8. And then I kind of just got ready lazily whatever so yes cali we're going and if you guys see us there me dalton or both of us please don't be afraid or shy to take pictures we love taking pictures and hanging out with you guys are just saying hey um and the meetup if you guys didn't see my video 
I, we're doing a meetup, I'm doing a meetup, we both are, whatever. Some person got really mad in the comments because I said that it was, um, like I was doing a meetup for me, like Pink Sparkles, and then, sorry, and then um, in the vlog I said that we were doing a meetup for me and Dalton. Somebody's like, cool, he's taking over your channel or something like that. No, he's just my boyfriend and I love him and he'll be there too, so if you guys want to meet him, or both of us, that's why I say both of us because, you know, He's a YouTuber too. So, that's that. That's on the 26th of July. If you guys want to go watch that video, then definitely go check it out. I'm using a highlight now. I just swirl the lightest color and the orange together. And then I kind of just put it right here. You don't notice it that much, but it just gives kind of like a little bit of sparkle. Like so. Okay, what's now? Eyebrows, but I'm going to put a little bit of color underneath or on my lower lash line that's why I didn't do my lower eyelashes this is just a little bit of primer yeah I lost the lid for this so thanks to this video I lost my lid cool okay so I have this and I'm gonna use this purple which one this one right smack dab in the middle so that's that. What else did I say? Oh yeah! I have two other topics to talk about. Spread shirt. Me and Dalton together opened a spread shirt account, which is merchandise. So we have shirts, leggings, sweatshirts for sale right now. There are Pink Sparkles ones only, and then there are Challenge Chomp or Dalton decap. There's Barbie things. So. We're obviously going to add more to the spread shirt. Cool, now I have a glare. Looks like I've got things on me. Oh, well, it's just the glare of the sun. It's actually oh, such a windy and just murpy day out there today. I hope they'll have the Taste of Saskatchewan actually on today because it's so windy. And today's the last day. It's the only day we can go. So yeah, I'm just putting a little bit of purple underneath here just to brighten it up or to add some color. Like so, I actually love that. Ah, so I'm gonna take this little light one and just do a little bit right there, y'all. Awesome, eyeshadow's done. Yay, just add a little bit of mascara to the bottom. It's actually a long get ready with me. Jesus, you think it'll hit 40 minutes? Oh my goodness. It's been like an all day thing. At least I don't have to edit it so I can just do this and post it. I always say like I'm not gonna take long to get ready and then this happens. Good thing Dalton's sleeping so that when he wakes up I'll already be ready to go. And we're going for lunch, so it's 10 and I'm almost ready. Cool girl. Okay, so spread shirt, the link is Chomp Cutie, because it's Chomp Squad and hey cuties. Chompcutie.spreadshirt.ca. And you can be, you know, American and buy it just because it's .ca. That's fine. So that's our store, and there are definitely going to be lots more uh, different merch items in there, tons more. Like we have so many designs in mind, but those are kind of just like the first set, so to speak. And for prices, some people were saying that the prices were a little high. We don't really determine the prices that much, so to speak, because Spreadshirt, when you like put your, you say a sweatshirt, for instance, right? And then you put the sweatshirt in. Sorry guys, my camera just stopped recording because I'm recording for too long. I think it only records for 30 minutes and then it just like stops recording. So I just had to push record again. Um, but, was I talking about spreadshirt and prices? Yeah, so it just gives you an automatic price and then if you add a logo, it'll get a more price. So at the end, it'll just have a already total that you have to do, like you can't say no thanks, I don't want that total. You have to have that total so to speak and yeah so we have no say in that in totals and such but and then we add a little bit for commission like it's not like we added twenty dollars for commission on each order it was only like a few dollars for each like it's not like we're trying to get money out of you guys it's not like we're getting that whole 45 on one order like we're probably getting like a dollar or so but it's not about the money if it was about the money that would be way more you know but 
that's Spreadshirt and I'm so excited. So many of you guys have already bought things and I can't wait. So if you guys purchase something on our Spreadshirt and if you tweet it to me, I will retweet everyone who buys anything on there because I'm just so happy and thankful for that. And there are gonna be ton, tons more designs. We're gonna do cell phone cases, Cooper things, Shugzy things, uh, things with me and Dalton together in them. Uh, like pictures of us on things. We're gonna do like a legit photo shoot for us. So I think that's really cool to have that. And yeah, it's only thanks to you guys that we're doing this. Like you guys are so awesome and amazing. So yes, if you don't care about the challenge chomp, then there are just pink sparkles things, vice versa. So that's Spreadshirt and I have all my last thing written on here is Nicki Minaj because we are going to Nicki Minaj August 19th in Edmonton and I'm beyond excited for this. So I'm doing my eyebrows now. If you guys care, I'm almost done. I just have to do eyebrows and then I'm done my makeup. So Nicki Minaj is August 19th and I, I can't even think about it because we are so close. I spent the extra money and got row six, legit row six. I'm probably gonna cry, pass out, freak out and just, oh my God, I can't even, I can't even right now, girl. But it's Nicki Minaj, I love her and I've loved her since before she got famous because she was calling herself Barbie and she had a big thick Barbie chain and I was like, who is this girl? Who is this girl? Like I don't know who this chick is but she's calling herself Barbie and I love her and she's so confident and I love her style. She's so different. And I was trying to Google Barbie chains because I wanted the one she had and there were zero online. And then she became famous. This is when like she was just rapping like kind of underground. Look at how little my eyeliner or eyebrow pencil is. It's gonna die soon. I have a new one, so that's good, but hopefully it doesn't die right now. Oh, that's good. That's a good point on it. Yes, girl. Okay, Nikki. I've loved her for since before she signed with any record label or became big. And yeah, it was because of the Barbie thing and because of her. Like I just, I thought she was such a badass. Like she was, um, but she still is. And then when she got big and it was all like Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, I'm like, hey, that's that, that's that Barbie girl. And then she was rapping all about Barbie and I'm Barbie bitch and all that. And I was obsessed with her. I love, well, I still am, but I was just so in love with Nicki Minaj and and then when she became famous on eBay and everywhere you could buy the big Barbie chain, so I was so pumped. So yeah, that's that story. I don't know really why I told that. Oh, cause I'm going to the Nicki Minaj concert. Yeah. And I'm hockey deprived. It's an update. I'm hockey deprived. Hockey is on off season right now. If you guys know or care because it's the summer. There's no hockey in the summer. That's why I always feel like it's kind of like the best of both worlds because in the winter time when it's like cold and murphy, then hockey's on. So it's like happiness. But then when hockey's off, it's like really nice weather and you can go outside and hang out. So I don't know. I think I screwed up on this eyebrow a bit, but that's okay. Do the tail of my eyebrows. As so. Is anyone watching still to the end of this? I'm actually curious. If you're still watching right now, comment in the comments down below. Pineapple. <laughs> I like royally screwed up this eyebrow. Oh well, it's fun. People will look at me strange and be like, what's wrong with that girl's eyebrow? And I'd be like, it's pink sparkles, that's why. Biatch. Okay. So yeah, that's just the pencil part of my eyebrows because I have no eyebrows, so I kind of have to create them out of nothing. Ugh, this eyebrow is horrid. Ugh, what is that? <laughs> oh well. <laughs> then I put the powder on top. Actually, it doesn't look too bad on camera, but up close it's like, wow. So yeah, I'm gonna take my mom out for a birthday supper. I really don't know where to take her because she loves everywhere. She literally loves all our restaurants. I might take her somewhere nice. Maybe Second Avenue Grill, because that place is so nice. Cooper snoring, if you can hear that. 
I didn't fart. I would have told you guys if I farted. If you even heard that. Yeah, he's having a nightmare. You're gonna hear him like, can you hear it? Oh, I'm doing better with this eyebrow. Fixing it, slightly. I do a dock face, a little pout to see how they are. I need to lighten my eyebrows before we go to Cali. Cali. What am I doing? Anything else? I just, oh no. Oh, Cali not posting. Yes. I don't know if I'll be posting videos when I go to Cali. I know I will. Hopefully I will post the 22nd, like my mom's birthday. That's the day we leave. Hopefully I can get a video up before we leave. But if I don't, then that's why. So 22nd to the 26th, I won't post. And it's just why, because we're going to VidCon and I won't be there. Um, but, ooh, I like that. Ugh, my eyebrows are kind of screwy, but I'm just gonna secure them with a little bit of this setting wax. And then I'm done my makeup. Cool. So yeah, I kind of updated you guys about a ton of different things. If you guys like this video, then thumbs it up and let me know. Like, tell me on Twitter or in the comments or something if you guys like these types of videos. If you found it boring, just tell me. Like, you don't have to be mean. Or, it's, it's not, I'm not going to find it as mean. You can be mean if you want, I don't care. But, <laughs> I won't find it as mean if you say it's boring because, I don't know, like, I like watching these types of videos because they're, like, chill and relaxed. But... I don't feel like I'm an interesting person, so, and I like editing. Like, I feel like editing really makes or breaks it. So, yeah. Uh, oh, well. I don't really like his eyebrow too much. It's not It's not my favorite eyebrow, but whatever. I'm going to, oh, I have a little bit of lip gloss, too. This is MAC uh, Fashion Scoop that Sabrina gave me, and it's such a nice lip gloss. Oh, it's so beautiful, and it's not sticky. Perfect. Yes. So that is my look for the day for a taste of Saskatchewan. No, I will not be eating guinea pigs. Hopefully we can still do it if it's um, really windy out there. And that's kind of why I wore a bun today because it's so windy. The bun will just be there. But this is the look that I just completed for you guys. Loves it. I kind of just wanted natural. And yeah. So if you guys again like these videos, let me know. And I updated you guys on so much. I kind of just rambled and chit-chatted and everything. But thank you guys for being here on a Sunday morning. Oh, this is gonna be posted on a Sunday too. So this is today. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.